Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant. I'm going to be talking to you about this 2005 Mercedes-Benz E350 Estate. It's done 175,000 kilometres, however it has got an excellent service history and is in excellent condition. It's got the very nice multi-spoke alloy wheels. Uh, it's got a nice set of Continental tyres on the front, Pirelli's on the back. It's iridium silver in colour with black leather interior and being a 350 it does come with the 7 speed transmission and the 200 kilowatt V6 engine. Being an elegance there's plenty of timber. It's got a full service history, logbook, it's been serviced up to date. It's got two remote keys and the 350 Elegance came with memory electric seats on the driver's and passenger side. Bluetooth uh, compatible, navigation, climate control, it's got automatic headlights, cruise control and a sunroof. It's got nice leather seats. I think these are the best looking wheel on the W211 series. It's got the privacy glass so it's very dark tinting in the back yet the front windows are just the factory tint where they're not that tinted at all so it's easy to see out at, uh, at night time. It was optioned with the child seats in the back. So at the click of a button, this comes up here and folds away. There we go, one, two, three. For a car of 175,000 kilometres, it's in great condition. It drives beautifully, as you would expect with such a good service history. Um, it was actually my wife's car. She's had three Mercedes E-Class station wagons. And she's basically gone into a 2011 E350 because uh, we've just been so happy with the 350s. You can see the luggage cover folded away. Electrically, it's a seven-seater. It's even got the cargo net in the back there. All the carpets are in excellent condition. It's never had a pet or a dog in it. The back seats are just folded away here. The soft close boot works perfectly. So if you don't close the boot properly, or if children get in the back and they don't close the boot properly, it will close itself. It's got parking sensors front and back. Yeah, it's been an excellent car. It's mechanically perfect, doesn't require anything. It's always been serviced well. The headlights are nice and clear. The navigation works. I mentioned it's got the Bluetooth capability. Timber everywhere. You can't have enough timber in a Mercedes, I say. And I certainly prefer the elegance pack to the avant-garde with the nice beautiful timber. The seats are nice and soft and in great condition, even the driver's seat. It's fantastic on the open road. Fuel consumption, you know, you can get it down to sort of 13, 13 around town. On the open road it goes right down to seven or eight litres per 100 kilometres. I think the 350 is the best the best wagon, uh, they're available in a in the latest series in a 280, a 350, there's even a 500 which is pretty rare um, and there's diesel variants too which is a 280 CDI and then the earlier model in 2003 and 4 you had the E320, E240 and E500. The E320 may look quite similar to this but it's got 165 kilowatts it's an old engine which was developed in the mid 90s and it's got the five speed transmission. So the 350 really is a much more substantial car. And the good thing about the petrols is you can start them, drive them to the end of the road and back with no problems, unlike the diesels which really need to be taken on the open road consistently. Um, everything works. I think I mentioned the headlights are nice and clear, being garaged. See the headlights are very good. 
If uh, I think for under fifteen thousand dollars, it's incredible value for money. Probably the best thing out of this car is the condition inside and out. Unfortunately, with a lot of these wagons, even with sixty thousand kilometres, they get dents, scrapes, scratches. The interior gets damaged, ripped. Hood lining gets damaged. The cars get parked outside, and they just get abused. Whereas this has been very well looked after. And uh, basically my wife will be the second owner. It's always been a Sydney car. Um, these number plates don't come with it. It will come with Euro plates, black and white Euro plates, which will look very similar to what's on this Mini. But it's a lovely car. I think it will sell to the first person who sees it in this condition. And I'd certainly be happy to answer any questions at all you might have. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We are the Old Timer Centre, located in Marrickville, only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport, and we specialise in European cars just like this one. Thanks for watching.